Hi there, George Price here, back with the Mass Planner Instructional How to Get Start Started Guide. Okay, so you have Mass Planner installed on your computer, okay, and then you'll see once you have it installed, you'll have three icons one that says Mass Planner Facebook, one that says Mass Planner Pinterest, and one that says Mass Planner Twitter as of this installation, okay? So, what you want to do after you've installed the application, this is your very first time logging in, you want to double click on the icon that says Mass Planner Facebook. Okay, and it will prompt you to enter your login details into the email address that you that you supplied Mass Planner to log in. Um, I'll enter mine now. And enter your password. Okay, and click login. Okay, and your Mass Planner window will basically look like this. Okay, you'll have a couple of things that come up and this is your dashboard. Okay, so you'll notice you have, okay, let's start that again. Okay, great. So you'll notice that you have your, um, in your dashboard, you have notifications, okay? Which basically your notifications are any errors or anything like that that you may receive with then uh, mass planner and your um, campaigns that you're sending. You'll also have your statistics. Okay, your statistics statistics sorry will be basically your your stats on your campaign. So you know how many clicks and not how many clicks, but how many uh, groups the campaigns have been sent to and such like that. Your change log will be basically any changes that have been made to mass planner. Okay, and you can see them all the way here from all the way until the beginning um, that mass planner was created. Okay, so we'll go back to the dashboard here. And you'll also see up above um, any um, actions that you take within Mass Planner will be logged in here. So you see here we're not logged into Facebook. We'll do that next. Okay. Also, you see the user actions will be reported here, which is basically showing you that any action that you take will be reported there. Um, you have the time, okay, the current time of your PC or your computer, sorry. Um, primary account, which basically means the account that you're in now. We'll change those settings later. Um, you have your tools. Um, we'll go over those options later as well dashboard and we have our profile okay so this is taking it that you have logged into uh, mass planner for the first time and now you're ready to log into your facebook account if you have logged in for the first time as you will see you'll have the option here where it says facebook account to click on the open embedded browser icon click on that raise the window a little bit so you can see it okay and now you want to enter your facebook credentials here so enter your email address that you use for Facebook and your password. Make sure you tick the box that says keep me logged in and then click login. Okay, once you log in, it'll bring you to your um, your Facebook page which lists your pages or any groups or pages that you admin. Once that's done, uh, you simply click where it says confirm logged into Facebook and just wait until the um, application syncs with your Facebook fan pages as well as groups. And you see that happening now. Okay, this should take a second just depending on your um, internet connection. Um, and also the amount of groups that you may have um, assigned to you or you may be joined. Okay, and basically once everything is connected, you will see all of your statuses here turn white and that will be it. Okay, the next step I'm going to show you is uh, the profile. So I'll click on the profile tab. Okay. And you see here you have several different tabs, okay? One being your profile, which is where you can log out of the account, okay? Log out of the uh, Mass Planner account, not your Facebook account, but Mass Planner, okay? You can go to the Mass Planner website, which is where you will be able to add modules or anything like that. Um, I'll click on that and show you what that looks like. Okay, and this is going to be simply your affiliate page. 
sorry, not your affiliate page, but, but your page where you exactly you would log into and, and add more modules. Um, I'm not going to log into that now, um, but here is where you would see that information. Okay, so we'll just close that. Okay, and the next section that you'll see here will be simply icon. Um, or I'm sorry, wait, <laughs> change language. So this is something that uh, was just uh, implemented. Uh, the languages that you have for the moment are Romanian and also American, so USA or English. Okay, under that you will have um, options what you want the application to do. Um, if you want the application to start when you start up your computer, um, if you want to show a tool, tool tip for minimizing to this um, system tray, which basically means if I minimize this, you should see like a little icon come up, or I'm sorry, not that one. If I do this, you should see the icon come up and say that Mass Planner is still running, okay? So we'll click on this to get Mass Planner back. And you see the icons here. This is basically the icon, the uh, Mass Planner Control Center, and this is Mass Planner itself. So if you double click on this, that brings up the Control Center, which you can actually restart the application, close the application, open the application logs, or open the application era image logs, okay? F folder, sorry. All right, so we'll just go back to uh, Mass Planner. Okay, and open it back up here. Okay, also in this section, you'll be able to see, um, okay, sorry. So that was the tool, the uh, minimizing the system tray. The next option is um, to create desktop shortcuts when the application starts. So this is basically the application shortcuts that we saw on the, on the uh, desktop before, which are these three. So if you want them to be recreated when you restart the application, which basically means like resetting them, um, that option is there. And that just happens in case you delete one of your icons or something like that, okay? Okay, and then below that, we have the Facebook settings, which we've already um, logged into our browser. But however, if you um, have issues with uh, the application disconnecting or something like that from your Facebook, you just click here where it says open and better browser, and you'll see you'll go back uh, to the Facebook page. From there, uh, since it's kind of wide, you want to stretch it out a bit, as I'm doing here. And then you click here where it's the little drop down arrow. Okay, and then you'd either click log out of your Facebook account, um, and then you log back in, make sh making sure that you tick the uh, box. So I'll show you that here. So then you log back in, make sure this little box there is ticked, put in your email address. and your um, password. Okay, once again, making sure the box is ticked, keep me logged in, and then click Login. Once you've done this, you'll see that you come back to your uh, Facebook account. You want to click Confirm Logged Into Facebook. The page will disappear. You won't see the information here, but on your um, dashboard page, everything is gone on there. And I'll show you, I'll confirm here, where you see it's all synced. And you see here at top, up top, it's showing the same as well. Okay, so back to the profile page, and um, we'll scroll down a little bit here. The other settings that you have would be to, um, if you want to do a proxy setting, um, there's a tutorial for that there. Um, if you want to reset your embedded browser and delete cookies from a Facebook Mass Planner, you can do that here. Also, reset your embedded browser. So the embedded browser is the one that I um, just showed you, which is this one, which basically when you open it, it shows you all the actions that Mass Planner is doing at that given time. Once you have campaigns running, of course. Okay, so the ne next tab here will be the. One second. Okay, the next tab that you'll have here will be the Pinterest tab. Okay, I will go into a bit more detail with this um, in the next in another video, but for now I'm just trying to get you the basic um, overview of this. Uh, this window or should I say a uh, mesh planner and also to get you on your way to set it this is any of your ads okay so basically with Pinterest if you wanted to enable Pinterest which is um, a free module within mass planner you'd simply click here where it says enable Pinterest enable mass planner Pinterest okay the same thing with Twitter you'd simply click here where it says enable mass planner Twitter and I will go over this as well um, in a later video okay era logging these are basically folders that you have on your computer where if you have any logs or such like that, which sometimes if you have errors, um, send a message to our support group and um, or send a message to um, admin at massplanner.com and they will get to you. However, they will ask for your error logs and such like that. And these, this is an area where you would um, basically find those by clicking on those two folders. Okay, um, backup and restore. <clears throat> 
This is basically in case you have any um, errors with the software. You have to uninstall it, reinstall it, what have you. Um, you click restore and it will restore um, restore slot one, slot two, slot three. Basically, um, it's just going deeper into the application or later dates, should I say, to see if it can find those restores. And you will see that here. Um, it's basically backups for the last five days. Okay, so this is day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Okay, um, I've never done the backup before. I've never had to, so I can't go too deep into that. All right, the next thing is CAPTA. Okay, this is a new feature that's enabled. Um, if you've ever used Facebook and you know that uh, sometimes when you do the same act over and over again, and if you do it repeatedly within a certain amount of time, Facebook will ask you to slow down or such like that. They'll give you a bit of a warning. When that warning comes up, um, having CAPTA, the little one where you have to type in the code, um, that will appear a lot of times. So what this does is it's basically bypass CAPTA, okay? So you would click enabled, you'd have to create an account with deathbycapta, okay.com. And once you create your account, I think it's, um, I think it's pretty cheap actually. It's like maybe 9.95 for so many clicks or 2.95 or something like that, I forget. But you, for the amount of uh, um, um, captas that you want to have, you know, uh, bypass using this software. So yeah, if you want to use this, I would say go ahead and sign up for the uh, Death by Capta and then enter your credentials here. Okay, and that is basically all that I'm going to give you in this video. The next video, I will show you how to create a campaign and also create your list for um, Mass Banner. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye bye.